Hi, today is January 9th, and I want to talk about stock in my portfolio. It is Fubo TV. Ticker symbol is F U B O. So Fubo closed at 27.31 on Friday. If we look at the one month chart, we saw that it went to a high of 62.29. One of the reasons for the sell off it was because of the expiration of a lockup agreement in the company initial public offering in October. And about 88 million shares were eligible to be sold. And also, just because it just ran up so fast in a short amount of time. So, we did see this sell off here, and I took advantage of that sell off. And right now, it's consolidating between the $26 range and the $28 range right now. In order to go to the $30, it would have to break the resistance of $28. 33 right now. I have been selling cash secure puts in the past couple of weeks to generate extra money as well as buying 100 shares of the stock. So we go to my orders. The first time I sold a cash secure put was on December 28th and it was a 36 strike price and I collected $232 for that. But since the stock price is below my strike price and I don't want to pay for 100 shares of FUBO at $36. So what I did was I rolled that cash secure put over to the following week, which was, this is a 36 put, and I rolled it over to January 8th, which was yesterday. And then is I had to buy back. I had to pay $315 and I had to sell another cash secure puts so the difference between that is two hundred and twenty dollars so along with the two hundred dollars initially that i collected the first time i also collected a credit of two hundred and twenty dollars so as we all know the stock price is still below 36 so i had to roll it another time which i did yesterday see it was january 8th and i rolled this over at 6 48 a.m so this time around, I had to pay back $7.70, but I received $927, which the difference is $157. So now I was able to collect $157, $220, and $232. I'm just gonna keep rolling it over until I just want to let the option expire worthless. Another cash secure put was on December 31st, and that was for the 28 strike price, and I received $310. So I let this get a sign because the stock price is just a little bit below $28. Now I have 100 shares of FUBO at $28, but that's okay because the price is just a little below that, and I collected $310 also have another cash secure put 22 strike price and i collected 230 dollars if we go to the investor relations page on their website we can see here at a glance they have 316,000 paid subscribers in 2019 300 million total hour stream in 2019 144 monthly hour stream per user in 2019 and they generated $147 million. Their latest news was this. If we go to all news. It was Fubo TV announces preliminary fourth quarter 2020 revenue and subscriber growth. So total revenue is expected to be between $94 and $98 million, which is a 77% to 84% increase year over year. Paid subscribers at year end are expected to exceed 545,000, which is an increase of more than 72% year over year. The CEO and founder, David Gendler, said Fubo TV's strong preliminary fourth quarter 2020 results exceeded what was already expected to be a record year for the company and demonstrate continued consumer excitement for the company's live TV streaming offer. We will continue to be laser focused on executing our growth strategies, which include continuing to grow advertising revenues, 
working to implement sports wagering into a product and further establishing Fubo TV as a leader in sports and live streaming. Fubo's earnings report is expected to be on March 25th, 2021. So that will be very important to look for. But right now, I do strongly believe that Fubo is a good company to buy into. And a lot more people are going to be going to Fubo for a live stream. If you're, ever, if you're wanting to buy shares or options, you can also consider selling a cash secure put and generating an extra income like I did. So right now it would be a good price to do it. If we look at the options, we see that the implied volatility is 161%, which is good for sellers, people who are selling premiums because they will get a higher premium. So let's say we go to the January 22nd weekly options list and you want to buy FUBO at $25. You can receive $157 while you wait for FUBO to reach that strike price that you picked. Further out you go, so let's say you want to go to the January one. You think that FUBO will be at $25 in January. It'll be $236 that you will collect. So the further out you go, the more premiums you will get because it's just more uncertainty the further out you go. So that's why I like to do weeklies because I have more control over it. So let's say we do want to go to the 15th January and you want to sell a cash to care put on Monday. You can go here. So I do have the 22 strike price, but it's the value has gone down because I bought this last week. So let's say you want to buy a 25 strike price. Buy 100 shares at $25, you will get $92. But you need to have enough money to buy 100 shares at $25 in order to execute and sell a cash secure put. This is a great way to generate extra income. Or you can also sell a cover call, which I'm planning to do on Monday because I have 200 shares now. So on Monday, I can sell a cover call. Let's say $35. I can collect $29 times two, because I have 200 shares, I will receive $56. And I chose a higher strike price is because I don't want my shares to get assigned. So the only way your shares will get assigned when you sell a cover call is when the stock price, which is currently at 27, hits the strike price 35 at the ex expiration date, which would be on Friday, January 15. That would be the only time my shares would be assigned if the stock price is higher or at $35. If it's below, my option will expire worthless because that's what I want. I want to be able to keep my shares because I do believe in this company in the long term. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you're thinking about buying FUBO shares. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.